So now that you've received your jar, it will come with instructions inside the box. Go ahead and follow us and that will show you how to do your sourdough starter. Thanks. No, I'm just kidding. So the first step's very easy. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and open our jar and put it on a scale. And we're gonna add two ounces of lukewarm water to our jar. Make sure your water is lukewarm. After you've added your water to your jar, you'll just take a spoon or a spatula and just slightly uh, just crush it all down. After you've crushed it down just slightly, uh, you're gonna let it sit for about three hours. So we'll come back to it after three hours. There you go. So now that our sourdough starter has slightly dissolved, and the water kind of broken up a little bit. I've stirred it a few times over the last three hours. Uh, I'm gonna add just one ounce of flour into it. So after you add your flour in, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it all up and we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. It was okay if you had a few chunks that didn't dissolve, um, feeding it and letting it sit over the next 24 hours will do that. Lightly put your lid back on, don't clamp it down all the way, but maybe one, two turns. Leave it in a semi-warm spot and we'll be back with it tomorrow. So, day two. So unless the inside of your home is kept at this temp, or the outside looks like this. It probably only took about 24 hours for your starter to start to bubble. So after activating your starter, um, should be fed and it's been about 24 hours. So whatever you've named your starter, we've got to feed it. So I know we started with ounces, but I'm gonna switch over to grams now because they're a lot more precise. So we're gonna take 30 ounces of lukewarm water and 30 ounces of flour. And you wanna be precise here. So I put in 31, 31's fine. Just whatever you do, make it equal parts. And mix it up. There we go. Larry's baby has been fed. Keep this in a warm place again for about 24 hours. Once it starts to bubble again, we're gonna feed it again. And I'll meet you back here on day three. Day three, or is it three? Either way, uh, we need to feed your sourdough starter again. I'm in my pajamas because I forgot to feed it and I need to feed it. So it's been about 28 hours. Looks great though. Uh, and we're just gonna go a 30, 30 gram. So 30 grams of lukewarm water and 30 grams of flour. Mix it all up and let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours until it bubbles again. And then tomorrow we're gonna start bumping up our feeding schedule. So today's the last slow day. Here we go. So you saw me add more water. It's because I went uh, a little over with the flour. So I went to about 35. So I put five more grams of water in there because you want to try and get it pretty spot on. One or maybe even two grams isn't going to kill you, but you don't want to be too far off at this uh, early in the stage. So here we go. Day four, technically. Um, I only needed about 12 hours here. I did feed it really late last night, as you saw in my pajamas, but it's nice and bubbly. So we're looking good. Um, we are gonna bump up the feeding today. So we're gonna do a 50-50 uh, mix. So 50 grams of flour and 50 grams of lukewarm water. We're only a couple days out from making our first sourdough loaf. 
So let's go ahead and feed it and we'll let it sit and check on, in on it in about 12 hours. Here we go. And it's ready to fermentate and sit. Put the lid on lightly, check on it in about 12 hours. Day five. So starting tomorrow, you can make your first loaf. Um, you want to go ahead and feed it again today, uh, just a straight 50-50, and you want to get on a regular feeding basis. So whatever time works best for you, if that's in the morning at like 9 before you go to work, or when you come home from work, 5, 6 p.m., um, that's when you want to start feeding it. A uh, regular once every 24 hours, and at the end of this video, I'll go through all the steps of how to put this on hold if you don't want to feed it every day or can't well what to do if you do forget to feed it so we're just going to do a basic 50 50 again and then tomorrow we'll make our first loaf so here we go so here we go there you are okay day six we've made it so i've already fed my my starter um, after feeding your starter, uh, you want to wait three to five hours until it bubbles and then you, we can use it. Um, I, we can use my other video as a reference on how to make, uh, bread from your starter. If you feed this and keep up on this, this will last your lifetime. This will never go bad. Um, you want to get on a regular feeding schedule, uh, once every 24 hours. If you forget about it on your countertop, let's say, for like three, maybe four days, that's totally fine. There's plenty of days that I don't wanna make bread. Um, I just don't have time to make bread. So um, I let Larry sit on the countertop for three to four days without feeding it. What that does though, is the water will separate from your starter um, and you'll have what's called some discharge sitting on top. Now, what we wanna do with that is uh, two options. You can either throw it away or use it to make, um, let's say pancakes, or there's a, there's a other things you can make with it, varieties of things you can make with it. But I have another video of how to make uh, sourdough pancakes with your discard. Um, if you wanna put it on hold for, let's say a long period of time, I'm going on vacation. I can't think about this for the next month. Um, this will live in your fridge for, I've had it a month, month and a half without feeding it, without using it, and it will survive. Once again, though, um, to bring it back to being ready to use, uh, you'll have a large discard sitting on top, and we would just want to toss that and then feed it our basic 50-50 um, for multiple days in a row. But every day before you feed it, you're going to throw a little bit away. Or I want to say about three days. Um, just think of when we started from our regular jar, how long it took to be ready. You got to think of that in mind when bringing it out of the fridge. It's been dormanted. Um, it's just been relaxing. So we need to bring it back up ready. Um, I guarantee all my jars, um, for, if for some reason your jar doesn't work, um, I'll gladly send you another on my dime. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box and I'll get to you um, as fastly as I can. Enjoy your starter, gift it, and make great little uh, Christmas gifts. And um, just make bread. Uh, good, healthy bread. Uh, better bread than you'll ever buy from the grocery store that you make yourself for the rest of your life for one jar. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, um, subscribe. If you'd like to buy a jar, I actually have <clears throat> uh, the link listed in my comment box in my about on my channel, but I'll also list it underneath this video. So I'd really appreciate any donations um, that all go straight back into this little business I'm starting. So thanks again.